Uh, let's take a look at processing a DXF file from AutoCAD or any CAD product, uh, just a file created outside of uh, RouterCAD, if you would. Uh, there's a few things you have to have set up correctly for this to work, so we're going to just cover that. If I go File and Open, uh, I have a folder called AutoCAD Drawings on my desktop. I'm going to take just the left base panel, open that. Uh, the screen resized itself. Let me adjust this. Let me adjust the screen back so you can see um, what's going on here. Um, here's the um, the part. Uh, one thing I want to show you uh, is this is a 3D DXF. It can be a 2D DXF, but this this DXF does have uh, thickness added to it. So you know, if you click on like the uh, the bore here. If you look over here, this is on a layer name called 8 millimeter bore. It also has a depth of minus 0.5. Uh, if you uh, look here, this is a 5 millimeter bore. It has a depth of minus 0.5 in it as well. So this is set up for, for, for dowel holes and uh, line boring. Uh, we'll switch back to a top view. But you got you can set router cam up to process 2D DXF files as well. I just want to make you aware of the fact that uh, it will if you process a 3D DXF file, router cam will read the, the depth of the holes and the operations automatically for you so that's one less thing you have to worry about or to get correct. If you draw if the drawing is correct, router cam will adjust all of its strategies to match what's actually drawn. Uh, and if I click on the outside of the part, uh, we have a layer name called shape. So to make RouterCam process this part correctly, we need to have these layer names mapped in RouterCam. So let me close this drawing. Uh, doesn't matter, yes or no. I'm going to say, go to Nesting, Nest. We're going to open RouterCam. I'm going to go to Tool Strategies. So here in RouterCam, I have a 8mm strategy layer name. The layer name is what's going to trigger that's what we're looking for is the layer name. Uh, that's going to trigger a, a drill function. It's going to use the 8mm uh, drill to do this. Uh, we have quarter inch island map. That's going to do the dado. We have the 5mm. Um, kind of skip that. We have the 5mm done. So it's going to, right the first thing to do is create the code for the 8mm, 5mm bore, quarter inch island. And then if you scroll all the way down here to the bottom, we have the uh, shape layer. Uh, so the way the layers are put into the grid here is the way the machine is going to process or we're going to process the code. So this just needs to be set up in advance of processing your uh, DXF file. So we're going to close this. I'm going to go to uh, block. We're going to say from file, browse. Um, I was just in this folder, so it opens back up to this folder. I'll take this left base panel, select open. So here's this panel. Now what we've added to this panel already is this magenta line. We've offset this line. This is going to create space for your tool to go around the part. And that uh, pair gap has been established here. So that's set up in your pair gap settings. So it's going to automatically add this to the drawing. That wasn't in the drawing before, but now it's there. Okay, so let's... Um, We'll select the material, and I'm going to assign a material to this part. Uh, so let's go to wood textures. I'll just accept uh, oak plywood, uh, and just click OK on that. So now we have your uh, part selected. We've assigned material to it. Let's give it a quantity of, of two. And in this case, on this particular machine, machine grains can run vertically or horizontally. That depends on how your machine is set up. In this particular machine, uh, I know the grain is running horizontally, so I want to rotate this part uh, 90 degrees. I've selected a quantity. I'm going to select the insert here. I'm going to uh, nest it. So there's your sheet size. If you hold your mouse on it, it'll tell you that it's uh, oak plywood, which is what we want. I also told it to create a rip line for me, so I have this this layer mapped in rip. So it's going to come in and cut out these two parts and uh, square off the sheet. 
uh, when I click on quick code here uh, display the code this is just a, a preview so you can see the code you can see it go through and process all the uh, all the parts or all the coding is there uh, this is a preview this isn't a uh, this is just so you can look over here and verify all the code and stuff like that for you uh, coming in doing the quarter inch island here and all this so if I want to cr actually create the code for the machine I want to go to quick code uh, navigate wherever I want to you know save this code to and um, you know if I wanted to go back to my desktop I could go to users here to me my desktop and then today's work and if I just want to name this uh, sample uh, and hit select save it's going to go through and process the code so now it's going to label the uh, the sheets for me it's going to label the parts it's going to, it's going to do all the stuff that it needs to do and then you can also have this print these sheets out for you so you, when you get out to the machine the code is there waiting for you uh, that's an overview of how you uh, process a DXF created outside of a Routercad product uh, and give it all the proper properties uh, for creating code uh, thank you very much for your time